I know I came back for a little bit and then I left again. I know. I I know. Life, you know, life. That's what it is. I've just been busy living in the present, living in the moment and enjoying life. There's some stressful things as well, but for for the most part life has been good. I just have been in the moment and not really wanting to get in front of my camera. My beauty room is also a hot mess a hot one okay and that's probably another reason why I don't feel like the desire to come in here because it's just chaotic and I just have to clean up every time that I come in here to film and then they still don't be clean but I'm gonna really try to get my life organized and just create a space where I actually want to create because the more cluttered things get the more I don't I'm not in the mood to film, but I pushed through because I owe y'all a bunch of content. Okay. We got an empties video. We got lots of products that I have gone through. Probably not as much products as I should have. We got a whole Trader Joe's bag full of products. The last empties video I gave y'all was, I want to say May-ish. I think it was May-ish. And it's now October and I really should have way more items than this, but I just have not been wanting to do my hair. In fact, my hair right here is three weeks old. It's very dirty. The style isn't necessarily three weeks old because instead of washing my hair, I would just retwist it, detangle it and retwist it. But my hair, my, my scalp hasn't been washed in like three weeks and I, I need to do that this weekend. But anyways, we're going to quit rambling. We have a good old empties video for you. A lot of new products that I haven't really shared in empties videos before. So products that I've gone through for the first time. So y'all will get my true like you need to go get it or child you need to leave it alone and leave it at the store. But first before we get into the empties, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos when I have the time <laughs> but if you're subscribed you don't hit that notification bell you won't miss another upload from me so let's just go ahead and get into all these goodies so in no particular order just grabbing things off the top this is the curled blueberry bliss reparative leave-in conditioner so blue blues curls blueberry bliss line has been around for quite some time it's probably one of the first lines that I tried out on my natural hair so this line has been out for a while but this is a new product to me I tried the deep conditioner I've tried the gel and I've tried the twist out cream which twist out cream is one of my favorites but I had never tried the leave-in conditioner and so so I picked it up and I really do like this leave-in conditioner. It pairs really well with the twist and shout cream, twisting cream. So I do recommend picking this up if you have never tried this before. Like I had previously never tried this before, but I really did like it. Obviously I went through it and I do recommend it. Another leave-in that I went through is from Kinky Tresses. This is their avocado infusion hair milk. Now, if you've seen me talk about this in my initial review of Kinky Tresses, again, a brand that has been around for a little while, but I just tried it for the first time within the past year or two. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this avocado hair milk. It's thick and so I would think that it would be very moisturizing but to me it's not the most moisturizing leave-in. I feel like it kind of sits on my hair. I feel like it doesn't do too much but I use this in conjunction with the cocoa mango butter. Dang I'm drawing a blank on what the name is but basically the hair cream, the you know the twist cream, the butter, whatever it's called that butter is bomb, holy grail status, absolutely love it. Because the cream, the butter has so much moisture in it, I don't really miss anything from this because I'm getting it from the butter or the cream. But like, if you're just looking for a bomb leave-in conditioner, this isn't it. But if you're someone that has to use like 
the same styling products from the same line and you can't like mix brands and mix lines, then I guess go ahead and pick this up to use with the mango butter, the mango coconut butter, whatever it's called again forgot. I think I actually have it right here. Yeah, I do. So coconut mango hair butter. Yes. If you want the matching leave-in with this, then go ahead and get it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it doesn't really do too much. I personally don't care about mixing brands and mixing lines. That's not something that like really bothers me. So I don't think I need to purchase this again. I can just pair that cream, that butter with my favorite leave-in and just call it a day. Next, we have from Camille Rose, the Black Castor Oil and Sheve Deep Conditioner. So I tried this when it first came out a year or two ago, and I couldn't re really remember if I liked it that much or not, so obviously used it up recently, and it's an okay deep conditioner. It's not my most favorite. It's an intense strengthening treatment, so I feel like it does strengthen, but I don't feel much moisture, which it doesn't claim to be a moisturizing deep conditioner, so I guess, you know, it does what it claims. But I don't know, it was just okay to me. It's very thick. It's hard to distribute throughout your hair unless your hair is really soaking wet. And there's also these little chunks of what I believe to be Shebe, and I love Shebe, but I like for it to be blended well in the product. There's these little chunks of it that were like just sitting in the product and it just got all throughout my hair and I just didn't like it. So I don't think I will repurchase this. I mean, it worked pretty decent on my hair, but like I said, it was just okay and I don't feel the need to repurchase this. All right, y'all. Tried and true. Next is Bondé Shebe Pre Poo. Like I said, I do like Shebe, but I didn't necessarily enjoy it in that deep conditioner. But I do enjoy it in this Pre Poo. This is a holy grail. Forever will be. I actually probably need to pick up a few more because I think I'm probably out. I think I'm out. So I need to go ahead and pick up some more of these. I do have a coupon code down below for Negas Bonda. So definitely use my coupon code down below if you want to pick up some Negas Bonda products. Speaking of Negas Bonda, I also use up the Green Smoothie Anti-Shedding Rinse Treatment. This is also another holy grail for me. I hadn't used it in a while, but got back to it and I absolutely love to apply this to the roots of my hair when I'm about to pre-poo. So I'll apply this to the roots and just work it in and then apply the Chevy pre-poo to the length of my hair and I have a little pre-poo concoction cocktail going on and it does wonders for my hair especially against very stripping um, shampoos it just gives me the moisture that my hair needs so that the shampoo doesn't strip me of all of my hopes dreams and ambitions next is a favorite of mine this is the mish beauty sweet pumpkin spice ayurvedic deep conditioner this is a limited edition Mish Beauty comes out with this ever so often, but I absolutely love this. I think I have, yes, I have one more left in my stash. They usually come out with this around the holidays, so if they come out with this, I'm definitely picking it up. This is one of the few like Ayurvedic products that Mish Beauty has. I love me some Ayurveda. Holy grail, smells amazing. Y'all definitely need to try this if you haven't. And I do have, not necessarily a coupon code, but I do have like a referral like support link down below. So if you need to restock on some Mish Beauty products and you want to support me in the process at no additional cost to you, then definitely click my link down below and I will love you so much and I will definitely appreciate it. Also, you need to go ahead, this is not an empties, okay? But if the pre-order is still there, you need to go ahead and pre-order you some of this Tropical Oasis hair gel. It's limited edition, but it's bomb. I did a review, just in case you miss missed it, I will go ahead and link it up in the cards for you. Bomb, okay, to the point where, I don't know where my other one is, but I have one used already. I've used half of it and I went and bought two more because that's how much I love this freaking gel. So you need to go ahead, use my link, and pre-order you some gel. Next, we have Nature's Little Secret. This is the Okra Curl Defining Gel. I tried this out for the first time last year, I believe, 
And I really loved my wash and go with this. I use this again this year for a wash and go. Really love it. It does give you really good hold without making your hair super crun crunchy. So if you like hold but not a lot of crunch, this is definitely the gel for you. It's more of like a custard consistency. So it tricked me a little bit. I'd be a little, you know, hesitant when it comes to like the custard gels because I just feel like it's not going to give you hold. But this definitely gives you hold. I think she comes out with a 12 ounce jar now. When she first came out with this, she was only coming out with it in an 8 ounce. But I do believe you can pick this up in a 12 ounce jar. So definitely recommend y'all picking that gel up. Next from Curlsmith, we have the Bond Curl Rehab Solve. I absolutely love this. This is great for strengthening my hair, for repairing the bonds. I've gone through countless bottles. One of my favorites, Ulta did have um, a gorgeous hair event or is still having a gorgeous hair event, I think. But this was, I think, on day two, 50% off. I do currently have one in my stash that I'm using up and I also have the Olaplex number three so I didn't pick up any of this when it was 50% off but I'm low-key like regretting it and just like why didn't I just go ahead and stock up but anyways love this recommend this I don't really bang with Curl Smith that much but this one is a keeper next we have the Hicks Edges Edge Control. This was just okay for me. First off, it's kind of expensive for edge control. It's like almost $20. I didn't use it up, but it started to like, I don't know. I think it basically went bad. It started to like melt and get kind of frothy. And so I was like, let me just go ahead and throw this out. I don't think I would repurchase it. I mean, it did what it needed to do for the most part, but it didn't like wow me. I don't think it's worth the, the $20 that it is. I wouldn't repurchase that. Next is a product that I didn't actually use up. My husband used this up and this is the Coils in Paradise Cocoa Biscuits Deep Conditioner. Coils in Paradise did kind of close shop for a little bit, but I think they did recently reopen. So I think you can now pick this up again. This is a really good deep conditioner. It moisturizes my hair very well. But like I said, my husband, he's like trying to get into his like hair care, even though he doesn't have like very long hair, but you know, he's still trying to take care of the hair that he has. So I was like, oh, you should really use this and, and try it out. And he liked it. He felt like it kept his hair nice and moisturized. Now he didn't like deep condition, deep condition like we do where we like sit it in our hair for like hours. He just put this on while he was in the shower, but he did like it and I love it as well. So I do recommend picking you up some Coils and Par Paradise Cocoa Abiscus Deep Conditioner. Next from Sultana Coils, we have their Blueberry Colon Thick Lock Strengthening Gir Curls Detox. I got this in like a holiday bundle with like three or four other detox clays. And y'all know I love me a good detox clay. And I really did enjoy this detox clay. It did smell like blueberries, which I did enjoy. Um, I do like Sultanicals detoxes in general. They ain't like my Chocolate Kings and Curls clay washes because those have slipped. This doesn't necessarily have slip, but it does what it's supposed to do. It definitely defined my curls. It detox my hair. It cleansed my scalp. So love this. I definitely would repurchase this, but I have like four or five other clays from that bundle that I need to go ahead and get through. But I did like this and I did enjoy it and it smelled good and it did what it was supposed to do for my hair. Another cleanser that I really enjoyed, which is actually, I think a new holy grail for me, is this Innersense Hydrating Cream Hair Bath. Now, when I first picked this up, I thought hydrating cream hair bath that it was going to be a co-wash but no it is a moisturizing shampoo a luxurious hydrating shampoo for thick coarse and thirsty hair and that's exactly what my hair is <laughs> thick coarse and thirsty and this was just a nice gentle shampoo like of course it cleansed my hair but it wasn't stripping it was very moisturizing I definitely would pick this up again like I was definitely sleeping on this shampoo, but highly recommend it. Okay, so I went through another 
of the Sultanicals Detoxes. So this one is the Lemongrass Kale and Anti-Dandruff and Lock Scalp Care Detox. So this one has yellow Brazilian clay. The blueberry, the blueberry one had Cambrian blue clay. But this one pretty much performed very similar to the blueberry. It defined my curls, it detoxed my hair, cleansed my scalp. Just doesn't have like a ton of slip like I'm used to with the Chocolate Kinks and Curls clay washes. But I definitely would repurchase this again. But I gotta use up the other clays that I have in my stash first. <laughs> Another tried and true, another favorite pre-poo is Nature's Little Secret Fenugreek Detangling Pre-poo. This is going to be very similar to your African Pride pre-poo or your Just For Me Curl Piece pre-poo. I haven't used those pre-poos in a while because I've been obsessed with this one. It has better for you ingredients. It has fenugreek, has other Ayurvedic ingredients. I love this. This is a holy grail. It's been a holy grail for the past couple of years for me. So y'all are probably always going to see one of these in an empties video. <laughs> Another tried and true is the Trelux Untie the Knot Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. So moisturizing. You have to let it sit on your hair for like five minutes after you apply it. And once you let it sit, you will feel all of the moisture. It's a great base for pretty much all my creams, all my gels. It just works well with a bunch of different um, styling products for me. So highly recommend. We'll always repurchase this. Next are two products from Curls and Potions. This is the Conditioning Scalp Mask. So very similar to um, the Negus Bonda Green Smoothie Anti-Shedding Rinse Treatment. I do apply this to my hair, to my scalp basically, and just rub it in before I apply a pre-poo to the length of my hair. And this just helps to soften my hair at the roots, to condition my hair at the roots, and also make it more manageable and help me to detangle. My hair gets very like tangled up at the roots, and so using something like this or the Negus Bonda to really moisturize and kind of make those roots more manageable. It helps with the detangling process. So always we'll pick this up. It's one of my holy grails. And then a newer holy grail is the Rice Water and Acai Magic Rinse. I know when you hear rice water, you think of like strengthening. But when I tell you this makes my hair so freaking soft it makes it soft just like as if I would have deep conditioned with one of my favorite deep conditioners it smells amazing this might have been my last one that I've gone through so come Black Friday I just need to go ahead and repurchase this because I absolutely love this rinse it's strengthening but it's moisturizing you can apply it as a pre-poo so like before you wash your hair or you can apply it with your deep conditioner. So you apply it on your hair. Maybe let it sit for a couple of minutes. And then you go ahead and apply your deep conditioner on top. And leave it in for 30 minutes. Your hair is soft and your hair is strong. I just, I love this. The girl has been talking about this for quite some time. And I love it just as much. Finally went through this Baskin Bloom Hydrating Vitamin Curl Mousse. So I was trying to get rid of this. And I only had a little bit left and then I lost it and then I found it again and finally used it up. But I do recommend this as a good mousse. It has good hold. It doesn't have like strong, strong hold. It doesn't make your hair crunchy. Some mousses can actually make your hair crunchy. This doesn't. It also gives a lot of shine. I do recommend this. I will definitely pick this up. I have some other mousses that I need to go through first. And I have some mousses that I actually want to try out. Um, as well. So once I kind of like go through those, I would for sure pick this up and recommend it to you all. All right. So we have another Sweet Pumpkin Spice Ayurvedic Limited Edition Deep Conditioner. I had stocked up on these. So I was like, I can't just stock up and just let them sit. I need to go ahead and start using them. So went through two of these. Again, holy grail. Love it. And you need to pick it up if it comes back out, which I hope that it does. I have the Sultanicals Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treatment. A bunch of naturalistas have talked about this for years. They said it's a holy grail, so I finally decided to try it, and it is a holy grail. It is super moisturizing, very softening to my hair. It just packs a lot of moisture. I love this. It is on the thicker side, so you kind of need to, you know, 
have your hair a little bit wet in order to really distribute this throughout your hair. But I love this and this might be like holy grail status. Just might be. Definitely would repurchase this. And if you've not tried Afrotastic Curl Elastic and you've been under a rock like me, you need to go ahead and try it out. These are my last four items and they match me. You know, we're very on brand with the black on black on black. But anyways, um, these are products from HH Cosmetics. Y'all know that I have been loving HH Cosmetics. I've been loving their products. As you can see, I've been going through them. And first we have the Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend. Um, so this is an oil that I like to use pretty much for everything, <laughs> basically. So I will use this to help me pre-poo. I will use this on top of deep conditioners just to really lock in the moisture. I will use this in the LOC method. And I even started using this on my body a little bit. And it's very light, but a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot of oil. And y'all have probably seen me go through countless bottles of these. And then next we have the multi-use uh, leave-in conditioner. So not only was I using this, but my husband was also using this for his hair as well. And he really liked it. And he felt like it really softened his hair and really gave it great moisture. And I love it as well. It's super moisturized. I like to use this under um, the, the gel slash pre-poo um, whenever I'm using the gel slash pre-poo as a gel, but I'm about to get into that in just a second. It gives me a great base, whether I'm putting a gel on top, whether I'm using the cream on top, the butter on top. It's amazing. Highly recommend. And then speaking of the gel, we have two of the moisturizing thickening gels. I mainly use this as a pre-poo, but you can also use this as a, as a gel. And I did do a video where I use this as a gel. I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards for you. This is the medium hold. They recently came out with a firm hold that I actually do love using that for styling. And then I like using the medium hold for pre-poos, if that makes sense. So for me, thickening gel, Firm hold for my actual styling and wash and go, and then medium hold for my pre-poo. But as y'all see, I've gone through two bottles of this, and I absolutely love this. I do have a coupon code down below for HH Cosmetics if you want to try them out and save some coin. As you're making your purchase, definitely check out the description box below. But that is it. Let me make sure. Yeah, that is it for all of my empties. Like I said, should have had more, but I just haven't been doing my hair like weekly like I used to. But I'm going to get back to it and got a bunch of products that are almost empty that I need to just go ahead and finish up. So I can save them for my next empties video. Coupon codes will be linked down below in the description box. Along with um, related videos that I've mentioned. But the description box is where it's at y'all. It takes me a long time to fill it out. So uh, if you ever have any questions most of the time. Especially links or coupon codes or things like that. It will be down below in the description box. That is it for this video y'all. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'm so grateful for each and every one of y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.